all of our listeners out there, we're talking with former Wisconsin Badger and current Green Bay Packer wide receiver Jared Aberderis and the Mecca Canine Fest founder, Dr. Marla Lichtenberger. Good morning to both of you, and it's great to have you with us today. Good morning. Thanks for having us. It's great of you to call in. I'm one of your biggest uh, fans, that's for sure. So you better watch out when I see you because uh, <laughs> I, we're super excited to have you here. Uh, that'd be good to hear. Jared, can you give us a little background on your football career and where you are today? Yeah, so I walked on um, at Madison. I started off as a quarterback. Um, when I got there, basically knew I was going to switch to receiver because I was more of a running quarterback, option quarterback. So I um, thought wide receiver would be the best fit for me. And got a lot of work to do because obviously being a quarterback, you don't catch too many passes. I mean, you, you catch them, you know, from shotgun and all that kind of stuff, but not really, you know, running routes and having people trying to break up the ball. So had to do a lot of work. I remember a couple of practices going and you know, dropping a couple of passes in a row and just being frustrated, but um, got on the jug machines a lot and just got a lot of extra work. Um, yeah, I guess, you know, first, first year I redshirted and then next year I was able to play in all the games and had a couple of catches. And it, three for touchdowns and so that was a pretty cool year especially being a walk-on um next year was the year we had uh russell um and that was a pretty good year for our team i uh, ended up having like nine or some yards and only like eight or nine touchdowns so i um, a pretty good breakout year for me i ended up starting um with nick opposite of nick toon our other receiver and then basically after that i was um, basically like the main primary receiver and you know, had a couple of great years. Um, team was always, you know, successful, fighting for the championships basically every year. So that was pretty, pretty cool to be a part of. Um, then get drafted by the Packers. Um, obviously, that was a blessing. Um, excited to have that. And then, um, obviously, last year with the injury, that kind of threw a curveball on it. But hopefully, you know, I feel good, and hopefully this year will go go better than last. So, are you excited about training camp coming up? Yeah, I mean that's a. You know, big time to you know obviously make the team and, and make an impression. So um, just got to go out there, be consistent, have fun, and, and play with confidence. You are the first Badger player drafted by nine-year Packer general manager Ted Thompson. What what did that feel like? Yeah, I mean, I didn't really expect expect to be picked up by the Packers just basically because of that. I wasn't sure if you know that would actually happen. I was I kind of ruled out the Packers, but um, when I got the call and found out it was the Packers I was obviously excited that's kind of where you know growing up that was like a dream come true so um, I mean obviously going in there I was excited to play and everything and then be sidelined with the injury it's kind of a bummer but um, hope everything will work out. Okay so Dr. Lichtenberger is standing by to give our listeners more information on the Mecca Foundation for those of you who don't know the Mecca Wisconsin Police Canine Vest Foundation, the Mecca Foundation, was founded by Dr. Marla Lichtenberger, who, while treating police dogs in her emergency hospital, learned that not all police canines have protective vests, as their human partners do. Dr. Lichtenberger, can you tell us a little bit about why you started the foundation and what the mission is? Yeah, we started it originally because we were training some of the officers with their canine dogs on how to take care of them if they're ever stabbed or uh, shot at out in the uh, crime scene. And then we started to learn that some of these dogs didn't even have vests and they're like the first responders. So they're the first ones that go out on a crime scene, a drug bust, uh, whatever it may be. And they are the first ones that are in the line of a knife or a gunshot. So my thing was was we uh, started the foundation it's a 501c foundation and we decided that we were going to vest every canine officer dog sheriffs included in wisconsin so that was our main mission when we started this about four years ago and then we came to learn that gee i mean some of these dogs will come in at one to two years of age and then they're retired at nine or ten so it's a short span when these guys have these dogs and then they need a new dog and the police departments can't afford a lot of these dogs they're about twenty five thousand dollars per dog and they get them from germany or hungary or denmark and transport them over here and they're completely bred to do this police work and then once they arrive over here 
they work with the officers for about six weeks on training and then they go into the field with the officer and become the officer's partner and they go everywhere with them and they are incredible i mean they are on the crime scene they are they act like 10 men because they're not scared of anything and they go focused right after the criminal or right after you know smelling out drugs or or bombs or guns or whatever their mission is they go right for it and they're incredible and so our mission is to purchase dogs also for the uh, police officers in Wisconsin. So, Jared, I understand you're going to attend the Mecca Vesta Fest this Saturday. Um, tell us why you're excited and why it's important to attend uh, and support this mission. Yeah, I mean, I, I think it's a, a great mission. Um, obviously, not even not not just for the financial aspect of it. I mean, you know, training dogs and you might as well keep them safe and alive. But man's best friend. Um, you know, obviously, if you got to protect them, they're doing um, a good good cause for for us and, and protecting the you know the people, the citizens of you know Wisconsin. Um, but you know, even more than that, I just think you know, especially with, with the the police officers getting to know their dogs and all the time that that takes, um, and just having that uh, partnership. I mean, it, it's a shame if you know a dog would get hurt or, or stabbed or shot or killed um, or wounded when we could protect that and keep that going a lot longer than just uh, however long it would, you know they last in the field. So, um, I mean, it's just a good cause. The, the dogs do a great job, and obviously I train, um, and it takes a while to train them. So I think it's just a smart financially and obviously just to protect the, protect the dogs. And Dr. Lichtenberger, I mean, as she said prior to uh, or early on in the interview, she lives for the Packers. She even named her dog Packer. Dr. Lichtenberger, <laughs> how excited are you to have Jared attend this year's event? Oh, I am so excited. Yeah, my dog's name is Packer, so obviously I'm a pretty crazy fan. So, And we always have been. Our whole family has been. And just... Uh, um, but I know you're from Wisconsin too, and you know how crazy people can get in Wisconsin. It's definitely unbelievable, huh? <laughs> oh yeah. At the same time, the Mecca Foundation is investing or donating dollars to help protect these police dogs. We're also investing in the safety of our communities now and into the future. That said, Jared, what would you say to those folks who are listening and thinking about coming to the event? Yeah, I mean, I definitely think it's important to come attend the event um, for a great cause, um, not only for uh, the dog's safety, but um, our safety as well, um, because the dogs are out there protecting us. I'm sure you're excited to meet your fans. Oh, yeah, yeah, really excited. Um, it's always fun to be out there in the public and, and meet some of the fans. Hopefully uh, it'll be a great event, and hopefully it'll be a great year for me. Okay, excellent. Dr. Lichtenberger, was there anything else you'd like to add? No, I think that uh, just knowing that he has a new child, he's thinking all the time about uh, protecting these dogs or protecting the schools, too, and that's one of our important missions. You know, the school children, when one man could look through lockers for days on end looking for guns or drugs, and these dogs would spot it in a second. You want your children protected, too, you know? So they have a lot of, not only on the crime scene, but help protect our schools and our children. Definitely, yep. Jared, uh, good luck to you this season. We'll all be watching and cheering. Sounds good. Appreciate it. <laughs>